Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews. Me, Dave, the Beer Dad, are back again for another attempt at a beer review. I've got recovered from the 19.3% life in light darkness and balance I had yesterday. So I'm going to hit, hit it up with a little IPA. Switch up on the stout to the IPA. And this is the Northern Monks Patrons Project. This is their jungle IPA. Have a little look at that for a label. I'll tell you what. Patrons Project, you very rarely get a crap label, to be fair. This one is an absolute beauty. It is a 7.2% uh, jungle IPA. Citra, guava, mango, mandarin, pineapple, milk sugar. Drew Millwood, I'm assuming, is the guy who did this. The only way to find out is by peeling off the label. You peel the label off, and you get a load of guff. Guff. You get a load of information about the um, artist who did the can label, the can art. Right. Looking forward to this one. Got this on the Northern Beer Temple. Again, I don't know why I'm telling you. You're probably not going to be going there. But the Northern Beer Temple in Wigan. It's where I tend to get most of my big, strong beers from them. Um, and they cost me that much. £6.25. Thinking, wow, Dave, you think that's that's a bit steep? Well, you're probably right. And the best before on this one is the eighth of the fourth, nineteen. There you go. So not exactly fresh, but let's see what we can do. So pop it off, and let's see what we get. A little bit coming out the can. So first again, with a little do use me northern mug glass, may make it taste better. That was it. Wow. Okay. So my stupid pouring then. We have got ourselves up here in the glass one we got, we've got ourselves a heat gay cloudy. Very hazy. Orange beverage. Like more like a sort of fresh orange juice. From the way I'm looking at it from this side of the glass. Obviously you'll see it through this side. There is not much as no Nothing floating it that I can see. We've got three fingers of head. That's because I stupidly poured. But the head is just slightly off-white, actually. Almost a very light ivory. And it's very densely compact. Very dense. It's almost like a creme brulee across the top. It's got a little bit of a wobble on it. Looks good. Let's hope it tastes just as good as it looks. Let's get a nose, first of all. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now it says on the side here that we've got guava, mango, mandarin, pineapple and milk sugar, right? Straight away you get all that tropical fruit. Mandarin straight up. Pineapples. I, I would have said there's more there's a little bit of grapefruit in there, but it clearly isn't it says otherwise it doesn't say. But you're getting mango, you're getting orange, so the mandarins are there. Not pick up the guava though, I must admit. Pineapple, yeah, well, we'll see. Right, let's get. Oh, get it some of this head. Let's tuck in. Cheers. Oh. Medium bodied, uh, light carbonation. The body is. a little bit on the velvety side. Slick, smooth, medium bodied. It's quite nice. Go for a big taste, eh? It's beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. <coughs> Mandarins up front, orange up front, citrus up front. Kinda fades a little bit, then a little bit of pineapple sharpness, mango sweetness, and it is a sweet. It is sweet at the back end, but then there's a there's a dry, a nice dry finish comes in. <coughs> kind of does a little bit of that. Not picking up any of the alcohol at seven point two. It's absolutely delicious. Not getting any guava, I must admit. We're definitely getting the the, the mango. Definitely getting the orange, definitely getting the pineapple. 
really, really tasty. I've said this a few times about Northern Mug. They do know what they're doing. They do some really good, well balanced, quality beers. That, but that is something special. That's really good. It's a big old can as well. For uh, for the money, for me six pounds and seventy and twenty five pence. Big old can. Last video. <coughs> Yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Borderline juice bar, to be fair. I like the dry finish as well at the end. It's really nice. It's sweet and then the juicy, tropical fruit juice, the juiciness, a bit of sweetness, and then a bitter dry finish, which is not massive, so it's it balances really well with the sweetness, but still. Got at the back, I've got, got the sweetness in the back of my throat, kind of. Yeah, right at the back of my throat. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I've been looking forward to drinking this, to trying this, and it certainly hasn't disappointed me at all. I've just got a big mouthful of head, just the head on its own. But that in itself is really sweet. That's probably the sweetest thing of the whole drink. Yeah, it's a sweet it's got a sweet head. But anyway, you know Jimmy Jabber, let's wrap wrap this up. So, Northern Monks Patrons Project Jungle IPA, 7.2%. Do I like it? Yes, I do. I think it's absolutely brilliant. <coughs> Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Six pound twenty-five might be a bit, maybe five quid. Would definitely be getting it. I um, would I recommend it to friends. Yes, I would recommend it to a lot of my friends who like IPAs. Um, it's a quality, quality drink. So there you go. So if you've had this beer, please let me know what you think. Put a comment below. There will be a link to. <coughs> excuse me. The other book website. That's also below. If you're watching for the first time. Hit the subscribe button there or there if you like the video. And if you don't like the video, but either way, give us a comment and hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. So there you go. This one's done and dusted. And I'll see you in the next one. Hail the ale.